I want to introduce you to two masks, one of which you may have seen before, the Dover Sentinel XL, PAPR, or Powered Air Purifying Respirator, and one which you have likely not seen before, the Avon MP PAPR, or Multi-Position Powered Air Purifying Respirator with C50 face mask. Both units have canister filters. The MP PAPR has two, the Dover Sentinel XL has three. This does not impact their ability to provide protected, cleaned air for the wearer. The Sentinel XL is worn as a belt mounted unit or a backpack mounted unit. In either event, it's on the back of the wearer, where the only switch is also located, making it somewhat difficult for the user to turn the unit on and off. On the MPPAPR, there are two on off switches, one mounted on the unit itself and one mounted on the end of the hose which connects to the mask. The Dover Sentinel XL uses a loose fitting hood type mask with the same hose configuration as any other mask. It also has a voice, uh, or rather an exhalation valve which serves as the voice transmitter for this mask. It's very difficult to hear in a noisy environment, especially with the blower unit running. The MPPAPR has a voice emitter device which allows for clear audio communication uh, from the wearer to a group of people without needing to be as close to be understood as with the Sentinel XL. The PAPR also has something called an outset. There are two types of outset for this device, both of which are protective lenses for the primary lens, which is a single piece dual side lens. The outsets come in a shaded or tinted version and a clear version, both of which are worn. Even if you don't need the sun protection from the tinted version, you wear a clear outset to protect the primary. This mask can be set up for either left side or right side uh, air inhalation. The reason for that is because as a VA police officer may need to use their firearm, a right-handed shooter would want the hose on the left shoulder and a left-handed shooter would want the hose on the right shoulder. In any event, this unit can be worn either as a backpack, belt mounted, or mounted to a tactical vest using MOLLE MOLLE attachment points. The battery on this device is detachable. There are several versions available. One of the versions is this rechargeable device, which is horseshoe shaped and has a battery on off and level indicator. Another version of this battery uses CR123 rechargeable or non-rechargeable batteries. In any event, it's very easy to use and has little uh, user familiarization requirement. 